How do you become a successful crypto trader? You don't blindly invest in Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency just for the sake of entering the industry. Instead, you take time to figure out how the market operates, when and how the currencies fluctuate, and how the other traders are trading. All this takes time, and according to Ben Armstrong, if you don't invest time in the industry, you might very well end up losing your hard-earned money. Here is Ethereum to $27,000 very, very soon. If you're a subscriber, well, welcome back to Investing Few. But if you're new to this channel and you want to enjoy more of our engaging content, make sure to click that subscribe button and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now, let's get into it. 2012 marked the beginning of Ben's venture into the world of cryptocurrencies. He invested money in Bitcoin, hopeful that it would yield incredibly high returns in a short period. While he found some early success, he also faced multiple struggles along the way, including losing money during the Mt. Gox hack. Despite his losses, Ben decided to carry on with crypto trading because he genuinely believed in the massive potential. He spent hours studying how the market works, what kind of news affects the price of coins, investors' reaction time after watching the market crash, and how to come out of a tricky situation in the market. BitBoy Crypto believes that Ethereum could reach $27,000 very soon. Ethereum is a computing platform which provides scripting language for smart contracts. This means that there's a blockchain upon which a number of contracts can be written and automatically executed should a set series of events occur. As with most blockchains, Ethereum is open source, which means that anyone minded to do so can use it to write and implement smart contracts, which are simply a series of promises in digital form. Ether is the unit of value deployed on the Ethereum blockchain, and consequently, it shares certain characteristics with Bitcoin. It is a potential store of value and is fungible between persons who perceive it to have a value. Ether is simply a product of Ethereum. Ethereum is actually a huge computing network which enables anybody to build a decentralized application. A business, if it decided that it needed a blockchain-developed solution, could employ a programmer to build it on the Ethereum platform. Ether, while associated with the Ethereum platform, is capable of performing the same function as Bitcoin. Whether or not it does so is simply a factor of the parties to any transaction determining whether or not Ether has any value to them. As we have seen, governments are beginning to put restrictions on cryptocurrencies, concerned that their citizens are speculating on something which their governments perceive they do not understand. While this could impact Ether, Ethereum wouldn't be affected. If governments put restrictions on cryptocurrencies, including Ether, businesses will still be able to use the Ethereum platform for things such as payment services, which banks and many other entities are doing already. Ether has the advantage of being associated with Ethereum, and Ethereum does what Bitcoin cannot do, and came to be because of the limitations and single function of Bitcoin. Despite this, while Ether is clearly a competitor to Bitcoin, Bearing in mind that the combined market capitalization of both is way south of the market capitalization of some of the world's biggest companies, there is room for both at present. As Bitcoin's prices continue to record new all-time highs, Ethereum has not lagged behind during this crypto rally. Although Ethereum is still currently around 16% below its all-time high price, a Wall Street veteran believes that Ethereum is due to follow Bitcoin's footsteps. Ethereum is currently trading at $1,201, having surged past the crucial level of $1,100 recently, which has not been reached since 2018. Many in the crypto community have commented that ETH has not reached its all-time high and is unlike Bitcoin. However, ETH has more in store. Ethereum market capitalization is growing faster than Bitcoin at the same point. Ethereum might well go up to $20,000 in this bull cycle, which was what Bitcoin achieved in the last bull cycle. However, Ethereum's market capitalization will be even bigger. Ethereum may overtake Bitcoin by market cap in 10 years. This is due to the fact that Ethereum acts in many different parts of the global ecosystem, including global supply chains, the tokenization of assets from real estate to intellectual property rights, non-governmental debt, and tokens from equities, amongst other industries. However, the road to the present was not easy. Although Ethereum was not created for decentralized finance, it took the network and its users a long time to get to this point, with 2017 looking as if Ethereum had found its perfect use case, launching tokens. Several major crypto projects were launched on Ethereum's platform, including EOS, Cardano, Tron, WeChain, BNB, and countless others. All of these projects use Ethereum to kickstart their projects and get them off the ground, 
moving away from the blockchain as soon as they were able to fly on their own, or failing as a project when Ethereum was unable to fulfill their needs. The 2017 bull run resulting from the initial coin offering, ICO craze, ended as a result of the launching of the tokens using Ethereum blockchain as companies and scammers realized that all they had to do to make some money was launch an initial coin offering. With most of the money raised in ICOs never being used to write a single line of code, investors were left holding the empty bags while the people behind these projects moved to the next thing. This led to a bear winter that saw project after project leave the Ethereum blockchain, as many users saw Ethereum as a project that could fail at any moment except when it came to enterprises. This quickly changed in 2019 when decentralized finance started being used everywhere in the crypto world only to become more popular as time passed by, ultimately becoming Ethereum's killer application. In addition to Ethereum's role in decentralized financed applications, it also has some major changes coming once it upgrades to Ethereum 2.0, such as enabling stacking for anyone holding 32 ETH. For now, Ethereum's price is rising due to decentralized finance in the future. Once the upgrade is complete, Ethereum will also see huge price increases itself due to stakers removing Ethereum from the circulating supply to earn rewards themselves. Ethereum 2.0's proof of stake is sure to be revolutionary for the blockchain, but the baseline protocol project is another big piece of innovation that could prove beneficial to users and network alike. The year 2020 might have been the worst year for us, however, it was a golden year for cryptocurrency. The year saw ETH give four and a half times returns, Bitcoin testing his ATH and breaking it. 2020 was the year when Bitcoin went mainstream with institutional investors dipping their hands in the crypto gold. But what lies ahead? Will crypto bubble burst just like the internet bubble of the 90s, or will it attain new heights? Here are three factors to consider. 1. Cryptocurrency Guidance for Banks The Office of Comptroller of the Currency, OCC, published Interpretive Letter 1174, which explains banks may use new technologies, including independent node verification networks, INVNs, and stablecoins, to perform bank permissible functions, such as payment activities. This is big for the ETH community as stablecoins are Ethereum tokens designed to stay at a fixed value, even when the price of ETH changes. By using stablecoins, you are literally using ETH as a network infrastructure. 2. ETH 2.0 Ethereum 2.0 has been long anticipated and much discussed in the blockchain ecosystem. For ETH holders, Ethereum 2.0 provides a new opportunity to participate and receive rewards for maintaining the network. The most important advantage of Ethereum 2.0 is its scalability. Ethereum 2.0 will have shard chains due to which it can conduct up to 10,000 transactions per second, whereas Ethereum can support only 30 transactions per second. 3. Stimulus Package The Bitcoin price boosted along with equity markets by massive government stimulus measures throughout 2020, the last year climbed back to its 2017 all-time highs of around $20,000 per Bitcoin. A similar trend can happen as the new POTUS plans to give a stimulus boost to the economy, which will be three times the last package, around $2,000. Ethereum looks set to break out in 2021. BitBoy Crypto says that Ethereum is changing. As its technological advantages gain steam, Ethereum investors could see $1,500 in the near term and $2,500 sometime by the end of 2021. What can you say about this prediction? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue giving you the best content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.